Okay, so you guys were right. You lose that game and you are in the Europa League. Channel 5, Thursday nights. Roll the intro. Hello and welcome back to the NK Maribor Save. I am Coach Leftfoot. It's a pleasure to have you with me. And we are in the Europa League. We are Channel 5. We are... Thursday nights, and it is actually a Thursday night, 17.45, so 5.45 on Thursday the 5th of October, which the clever ones amongst you will realise isn't the first game of the Europa League group stage. We've already played that, it was against Dynamo Kiev, I didn't think that would be very interesting, and I was sort of correct, because uh, it was a 2-2 draw, so it was actually goals, but not too many. League-wise, absolutely smashing it, um, we've got an aggregate score of 3-9-11, 13, 17, 20, whatever that is. I can't even do the maths. We are smashing it. Absolutely smashing it. Yet to concede a goal in the league. It's been ridiculously easy. 23 is our goal difference because it's 23 scored, none conceded. 18 points from 18. Played six, won six. We are flying in the league. We are also top of the Europa League group after our draw with Dynamo Kiev. We sit top, they sit second. Fiorentina drew with Barte Borisov, they sit third and fourth respectively. We're going to be playing Barte today at home. Uh, that's the game that we're going to have one game episode today. Then we're going to come back for the Fiorentina away game. I fancy seeing the uh, the game of the Artemio Franchi in Fiorentina, in Fio Florentine, I think, isn't it, where they're based, uh, which will be cool. And then we're going to see if there's anything on the Dynamo Kiev game. If not, we'll come back for the Barte Borisov game. I'm expecting us to do pretty well in the Europa League, to be honest. I think we should be pretty damn good. Um, in terms of goal scoring... In the team, uh, he's flying. 11 and 11 for Daniel. He is absolutely incredible. Five uh, for Maslowski, five for Matko, so both right wingers getting involved. Four for Utara, four for Nguyen, three for Marco Brest. He's having a great start to his season in the first team. Uh, Nguyen has nine assists, eight for Svetlin. So everything's being spread around, really. Now, we did the transfer window in the last episode, at uh, the end of the transfer window, and I said there's no more deals. But. My scouts went and found Mateos Santos on a free transfer. And I like the look of this guy. Uh, attacking midfielder, maybe right winger. Uh, he's left-footed, so he'll be an inverted winger on the right. Only 19 years old. He got trained at Braga, released on a free or non-contract renewed. And uh, we've bought him in. Good physicals, good pace, good agility, good acceleration. Um, crossing could be better, but if he's going to play as an inverted winger, I'm not too fussed about that. Great passing, long shots, determination, off the ball, vision, technique. He's got it all where he sort of needs it, and I, I like that. He's a promising attack midfielder, with a driven personality. Should fit in reasonably well. Another one I think you can bring in and potentially sell for profit, which is, uh, which is great. And we've also got this guy, Luis Ricardo, in on trial from Brazil. Um, not the, the physicals, I think, are really letting him down, according that he's 18. Natural fitness four, so he'll probably pick up a few injuries. Uh, not too sure. Let me know. Should I sign Luis Ricardo? Let me know. Also, let me know. Also, 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 um, subscribe if you're new. Um, I should always say this early on in the videos. Apparently, it does make a difference. And uh, leave a like on the video because, you know, it helps more people find the channel. And we are nearly at 5,000 subscribers, which is incredible for someone that does this as a part-time hobby. Um, and I record videos when I get the time and put them on YouTube for all your entertainment. So hopefully you are enjoying them. He used to play for a team called Inhumans, which is incredible. Inhumus. In Inhumus. Inhumus, which is incredible. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get into the uh, the game against Abate Borisov, which we will be doing on uh, extended highlights, I think. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so carries well. Let's go into the tactical team meeting. We're going to stay attacking. We're going to stay attacking and, and go for it, I think. Loris Carrius will be our goalkeeper. Made some errors against Copenhagen, but he's been performing pretty well ever since those errors, to be honest. So watch him mess up today. Uh, Sternovic and Diego Lietti at the back. Bricalo at left back. Those two. Those That back four was solid. It's really, really good. Uh, in the Mazzara role, Louis Zhao, next to him will be Jean Nguyssen, um, who again is getting interest now. So we've got Chelsea and Nguyssen, uh, Domza, is it Brahim Otara? We've, we've warded off the interest in Brahim Otara. Uh, Musilowski, who's in great form on the right, will put Otara in behind the striker. Inverted winger on the left. Now, Marco Brest has been in great form, but we're going to stick with... 
You know what? Van Cass is injured. Let's give Brest. He did well in the last game. Let's give the youngster a run out. Uh, and up front will be Daniel. Lukas Hovic on the bench. We'll put Zvetlin on the bench. We'll put Matko on the bench. There will also be right defenders. Bejk is good. He covers all positions at the back. We'll have uh, Terenzi as a left back. We'll have a goalkeeper, obviously, in Joel Pereira. And then let's go for Matteo Mejia. Who uh, is getting a? He's, he's settled in all right, to be honest. He's settled in all right. I think he's someone we can grow quite well at the club. But that's how we're going to line up. Obviously, we have got. We need to be careful of these yellow cards because our next game is uh, Fiorentina. So that's the big one of the group, you would imagine. Although they did draw one-one with Barte Borisov at the moment, it's sort of suggesting everybody's pretty equal. Uh, Fiorentina and Barte Borisov drawing one-one. Us and Dynamo Kiev drawing one-one as well. Now, they're playing a 4-2-2-2, two, 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 so we should be able to um, exploit the flank. So we may look into that. Let's go Pump Fist. I have faith. Uh, I have faith. We are at home, so we should put on a good performance, really, for the fans. Um, always just pick the second one in. Here we go, then. Here we go. Excited. Teams are lining up. Europa League. The anthem will be going... Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. That's the um, the anthem, I think, in it for the Europa League. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, they are playing a 4-2-2-2. Two, two, two. So I think we will go a little bit wider. As uh, Shaq Shaviv into Filipovic has crossed in. Louis Zauer, the header away. Cleared away down the line. Daniel has turned one. He's running at a second. He's into the box. He's just sort of held the ball up. Cuts it back. Brahim Rotoro, first shot's blocked. And he's going to try and get another go. Matos down the line. Musilowski. Musilowski is over it, crosses it in, and it's sort of saved. I don't quite know what happened there. It was a shot, and apparently it wasn't on target, so I don't quite know about that. And Gwieson picks out Musilowski again. He's looking superb on loan from Liverpool yet again. He's going to be another one of those players that will hold your bread. Marco Brest has put it in. Come on. It is the first game, by the way, on the, uh, the update of the patch that came out because... Uh, uh, you can now get it says it says who got the assist in the thing and stuff like that. So, yeah, one nil though. Four minutes in, Matos whipped in across. It was headed down by him to a good save, to be fair, but it fell to Marco Brest, who keeps his good run of form going, and uh, it's one nil. Right, another throw in deep in Barte Barasov's half. Dragun is there, Filipovic. And uh, it's going to be played into Daniel. Daniel shoots. It's 2-0. It's 2-0. His 12th goal of the season. Seven minutes in. And uh, Barte Borisov are just fading away without a care in the world. Oh, to be fair, they, probably, they should care. They're 2-0 down in the Europa League. But this is what we wanted. This should comfortably put us top of the group. As that is a one hell of a finish. He is a good... He's a quick, deadly striker. He lacks a little bit of stamina and natural fitness. But other than that, he's looks, he looks the real deal. Brahim Rotorda. Going to swing this one in. Is it going to be three? It is going to be three. Stojanovic gets in. Ten minutes in. Barte Borisov are sh just shocking. How they drew with Fiorentina, I will never know. We should be topping the group if this is a... Fiorentina have just gone 1-0 up against Dynamo Kiev, but unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. 3-0. Another, another like Bracalo. Brahimo Otada on the ball. Lays it back. And Gwieson. And Gwieson gets it again. He's looking on the edge towards Matos, the right back. Louis out. Has a shot from range. Oh, my word. It's four. It's 4-0 inside 15 minutes. Too easy. This is too easy. 25 minutes in. Fiorentina go 2-0 up. And we are on the attack again. And so far, it's pretty much been... I think we've had seven shots on target. That'll probably be eight now. But seven or eight shots on target. And four goals. There's five goals. Marco Brest gets his second of the game. This guy really is on form. And as a youngster coming through the youth academy, we love to see that, Brest. And he actually put the original ball in. It was cleared away. Uh, Matos picked it up. Just ding in. It's a great run. It's a lovely ball. Lovely volley. 5-0. Corner ball. Brahima sticks it in near post. Stilnovic this time is beaten in the air. Brahima picks it back up. And uh, I think Dynamo Kiev have got one goal back. I think it's 2-1 out in Italy. Bracalo down the line into Brahima Otara. Got his time in Greece and good little one-two between the two Ivorians. As Brocano lays back. Matos, the right back, he doesn't shoot. He really barely shoots. Matos into the box. Louis Zhao in Greece. And Louis Zhao and Diego Lietti, the two big money signings, have both played really well. Look at that from Louis Zhao. Gets around his man, crosses it in, it's headed away. Matos will pick it up. Ten minutes still half time. And uh, well, Bante Borisov have been pretty dreadful. 
as Masalowski picks this up to the byline. Fires it across. Dang, Daniel. He's got another. And um, Masalowski, 6 0 with 10 minutes to go until half time. Unbelievable. This is absolutely unbelievable. So, half time then, and some stats for you. Uh, 17 shots to us, none for Barte. 10 shots on target for us, none for Barte. Uh, XG 2.21, yet we're 6 0 up. We are bossing this. Um, outstretched, very pleased. Keep it going, and I'm gonna. Stjanovic is on a yellow card. He's just gonna be. He's just gonna come off, be replaced by Lukas Bejka. There you go. Get involved, son. Go and get a couple of goals. So now we're gone. Barte have had three shots, one of them on target. It wasn't a highlight. We didn't see it. But uh, I don't know whether to make some changes or we just keep these guys out there doing the business. To be honest, we've got two people on hat tricks. I'd like to leave them on. I think a hat trick in Europe is something to be praised. Masanowski can come off for. Let's give Major a go on the right. Do we do that? No, we don't do that. Do we do that? Yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to bring Major on. And we're actually going to put Major up top. We're going to move Daniel out there and put Brest on the right, who can play there. So just a little bit of a change. Keep the defence guessing. And Greeson is a little bit tired. So uh, we'll bring him off as well. And let's, yeah, let's put, we'll give Svetlin a run out. Use all three subs. Job done. So throw in as Fiorentina have just gone 3-1 up just before we came to this highlight. Bracalo, Svetlin, ball in to the back post. Brest is there. He's got his hat trick, but he's offside. I'm pretty sure he's offside, Marco Brest. He's uh, He's got a cracking name and he's, he's had a great game. And that rhymes. So, I mean, that's great, isn't it? Rhyming is fun. So the time is ticking away. Five minutes till the end of the game. 22 shots for us, four for Barte. 3-2 now in the game in, uh, in Italy for Fiorentina. I just want us to keep a clean sheet to give Carrius a bit of confidence. Um, he deserves it. He's playing well in the league. And uh, I would love, I guess, Fiorentina to draw again. Dynamo Kiev to find another goal. But Williamson is in. And we don't get a clean sheet. But William, poor Williamson, uh, gets a, a nice goal. 6-1. I mean, I should probably be happy that we're not going to be paying any sort of clean sheet bonus after that. Uh, because it's a it's a definitive win, isn't it? 6-1. But just don't pay anybody any clean sheet bonuses. Lovely stuff. Major didn't do very much coming on um, up front. But that doesn't really matter, does it? Don't want to take away anything from a cracking result there. Europa League, we clearly go top of it. 520k as well. So a couple of wins gets you a mil. A sweet mil. But that is lovely to see. Top of the Europa League group. Four points for us. Four points for Fiorentina. That is is the next game uh, that we're going to be playing but we'll come back for the away leg back in italy and uh, yeah that's when we will be back i hope you have enjoyed that i know it's only a quick short episode today but uh it's hopefully it'll give you a little bit of football manager fix so thank you so much for watching leave a like down below subscribe if you're new let me know where you think we're going to finish in the europa league this year are we going to make it to the final are we going to get to the semis are we going to get to the quarterfinals the board just want us to be competitive and I think we're going to smash that objective out of the window. So thank you so much for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.